I'll see about some lunch for us. Not for me, Alex. You really should have something, Father. You didn't have a bite on the plane. I have things to do. Well, I hope this means that you're going to give up on this Fifth Street debacle. Investment, Alexandra. The sooner you pull out of this entire thing, the better for everyone. Now, are you listening to me, Alan? I'll be in the study, Alex, if you need me. Well, that is what you intend to do, isn't it, Alex? Stay out of it, Alex. It's none of your business. Welcome home, Philip. Okay. Whoa! Frank's lugging everything upstairs, and he lady's got this great assembly line going for her sandwiches. Right. Steering can be better when they're fed. Well, is there anything else I can do before they get here? I, uh... <laughs> no. Coffee's working. Everything's fine. So you've taken care of everything all by yourself. Oh, well, I, everything except you, but, um... How you doing? Fit as a fiddle in rare indigo. Already, you just got back. Mm -hmm. Feels good, doesn't it? Have I thanked you for hawking your bracelet and buying our airline tickets? Say it again and I'll bop you. I'd sell my soul to get as far away from Alan as I possibly can. I ram us into a tree, turning the car over, gets you pinned, you almost die in an explosion, and you come up swinging. I think well, that's look sexy. Look who's talking. We make a good couple, Mr. C. Well, we sure do. Mrs. Reva, Shane, Lewis, Spalding, Lewis, Betty, or Cooper. Hobble your way Cooper, over Cooper. here. Like it's Rick. Listen, I uh, just got back from the wedding. I went straight to work. So when you get this message, give me a call as soon as you can. Thanks. What are you doing here, and why are you dressed like this? I'll give you a hint. Three letters. Someone who doesn't feel like letting me on his sight these days. Dad did this to you? See, I knew you went to medical school for something. Hey, don't be such a grouch. It looks cute. <laughs> Shorter. Yeah, to a nerdy older brother, maybe. Rick, did you have to tell Dad I tried to take Jay with me to the wedding? Hey, I warned you about doing that uh, funny stuff, you know? You should have just come with me and make this trip and left Cato at home. I really thought at least you understood. Well. Now I'm doomed for the rest of my natural life to wander these halls delivering magazines and snacks. You know, not that I should even talk to you, but if you're so dying to tell the Marlers about your wonderful time at the wedding, Blake's in Dr. Sedgwick's office right now. What is she doing there? Give me a break, Rick. It's a gyno's office. Figure it out. Did, did you, um, you know, uh, hear anything about anything? Some kind of test. What kind of test? How should I know? What's the big deal? The test is wrong. It has Blake, to be wrong. Blake, take it easy. You said this couldn't no, happen. You said it was a one in a million chance having two babies with two different fathers. It's that rare. Rare, but not impossible. I'm as astonished about it as you are. No, no, no. I want to take another test because, you know, somebody goofed the lab because this it can't be. It's absolutely ridiculous to think, I mean, my babies can't have two different fathers. I only have one husband. Blake, you may be married to Ross, but you are carrying twins and only one of them is his. I want another test. You'll see. No, Blake, this is there wrong. Is no, no, be no change with another test. The father of the other baby is the other man that you slept with during the same 24-hour period. A marathon, it's a walk in the park. Yeah, let's What's my rush? Try to keep it down to a trot. We'll get to the office in plenty of time. Well, you go ahead, and I, I'm gonna stay. I should she looks her. a little she looks warm. A little cold. Maybe we should split forces. You take the baby home, and I'm gonna go to work. I'll uh, bring you your mail. No, I, I don't want to go home. You go get the mail. I, I want to commune with nature with my little girl. Yeah, hey, you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. 
Well, now I don't feel I should go. I feel I'm... I'm... You're being a rotten mother, I know. You feel this way because you're actually thinking of something else besides our daughter. Well, <laughs> it's okay. It's time you learn there are other things in the world besides you, like our salaries. Oh, what, you want to go to work and I'll stay here and commune with nature? It's not solving our problem. We don't have a problem. We just want to spend time with our baby. Who can blame us? Be careful. A, a newborn. Yeah, she's six weeks old. Oh, and Joy, they grew up so fast. Oh, she's beautiful. Thanks. Uh, don't worry about the shape of her head. In three months, she'll be normal and look just like everybody else. You know, uh, Philip, I think you've already helped enough. Excuse me? Well, I wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't announced at the reception that I was with Advantage Systems. Look, I already told you. I had no idea that it was a secret. And, you know, I hate to break it to you, but Reva and Buzz Cooper were three-quarters of the way there already. Well, you might have asked, Father, before you mentioned it in public. <laughs> Why would I do that if I didn't know it was a secret? Well, nobody said that, Philip. Well, nobody had to, Dad. The person I need to see right now is my sister, Alex. Well, I'll do anything I can to help, of course, Alex. Alex. Well, well, we we have so much to catch up with, don't we? We do, tons. Ah, boy. Mm, where do we start? I think. Let me see. I think I lost track of you and your whereabouts about five years ago, which was when I was being sentenced to community service. Now I'm told you were you were in California at the time, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know. I ought to go tell the staff where to put you. What do you mean? Well, I'm talking about where you'll stay in the house, Oh, course. right, getting, getting me settled in. Yes, as Dad puts it. I see his wish has become your command. Well, we all want you to be comfortable, Philip. I, I do hope that the rooms off the middle landing will be suitable. That's where we put all of our overnight guests, family or otherwise. Well, you know, I think, I think chances are I'll be staying longer than overnight. Oh, how delightful. I'll see to it right away. If I had told Ross that I had slept with Rick, I think he would have understood that. I mean, until now, that was the worst moment of my life. I had just seen him with Amanda. I thought he didn't want me anymore. I thought that our marriage was over, and I didn't think I was cheating. I mean, I don't think I was cheating. I, I think he would have understood and forgiven me. Well, Blake, maybe he will. <laughs> yeah. He would have if the babies had been his, I think. But even if both babies had been Rick's, we might have been able to, like, get through that. Just it would have been awful and messy, but somehow we would have gotten through it. But this, two fathers, two babies, he's never going to get past this. Like, how do you know? How do you know? Ross loves you very oh, much. Oh, please, no man loves a woman that much. This is... This, if, if I tell him the truth, he's gonna leave me. I don't blame him. I would do the same thing. Don't assume the worst. Annie, this is the worst. I have two healthy boys. If you had told me a couple of months ago that I'd be pregnant with two healthy baby boys, I would have been screaming from the rooftops, you know? And now I'm... It's just miserable, and I have wrecked what should be the best time of Ross in my life. Listen, this isn't going to help anybody, okay? Oh, it isn't. I've let my husband down, and I have wrecked two innocent lives of these unborn babies. I mean, I'm gonna be a single mother like, with like, twins. Like, 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 stop it. Nobody is talking about leaving anybody, okay? You are writing your own movie here, and it doesn't have to end up like that. So stop it. <sighs> right now. I know. I wish I could. Okay. Okay. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to drink some juice, bring your sugar level up, okay? And then you can do anything that you feel is best. Well, I'd like to take a plan and go far, far away, you know? Never come back. Maybe Bora Bora. Well, I understand the delivery rooms in those grass huts leave something to be desired. I wish I could laugh. Blake, you don't have to do anything but drink some juice. <sighs> I'm glad you're here. OK. Why don't we go to the on-call room, throw down some orange juices, eat some of those rotten, low-fat muffins. All right? What do you say? When 
a dirt eat. Michelle told me you were here. Take the test. And if you did, what'd you find out? Hey, what are you doing here? I what? didn't know you were back from Florida. Well, I just got back. Just got back. Did the trauma team miss me just a little bit? Dr. Stein covered very well. Good. Dr. Stein's very talented. Uh, Annie, do you mind if, uh, if Blake and I just had a, a minute alone to, to catch up? What am I, an invisible woman or something? Why don't you ask Blake if she minds? No, you know what? Don't. Don't ask Blake if she minds because she's going to tell you, yes, she minds very much. Listen, I'm... Annie is my friend. That's fine. I'm just asking for a minute alone. That's all I'm asking for. <clears throat> No, no, you don't get one. You berate me 30,000 miles up I in the air with a you. phone. You bug me state to state. Now you're back here and you got hey, your little sister like, spying on me. Who the, the hell do you think you are? It's a place to talk about. Oh, it's a perfect it. place. It's where you do all your dirty work. I know everything, Rick. And not only am I an interested observer, I'm an opinionated one, too. Well, I don't care about your... Well, I don't opinion. care what you think. What you are doing to Blake is harassment. I don't have to and answer to you. This is none of your damn business. Is it? Is it? And just for your information, I never meant to hurt Blake. Oh, please, could I get a word in here, Edgewise? If I am Thank the you. father, I have a right to know, and you are obligated to tell me. So let's just stop playing games. Do you have something to tell me, Blake? Did you take the test? Did you take the test? Yes. Well. Who's the father, Blake? Is it Ross or is it me? Actually, forceps weren't used during our daughter's delivery. Meg looks a little different because she has Down syndrome. But you were right the first time. She's beautiful and we adore her. Yes, yes, of course she is. Uh, of course you do. gonna happen again and again and again how do we handle it well you just did you handled that woman beautifully she was embarrassed she didn't mean to be cruel well most people don't they just don't know <gasps> maybe i should just chuck the whole job the career and everything stay in the park and commune with nature and you and meg huh well you listen to this meg did you hear that Mommy's trying to horn in on her quality daddy-daughter time. You know, I promised her a walk with nature, and that's what I'm going to give her. What if she cries? Well, I'll figure out what to do. You know the difference between a feed-me cry and a change-me yeah. cry? Yeah, actually, I do. You know, the, the, uh, the change-me cry goes like this with a little frown accompanying it, and the feed-me cry goes Aah. just the open mouth comes with it. I say, feed me, feed me. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. I love you, too, sweetie. Yes. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Mama. Bye-bye. I'm leaving now. Okay. All right. It's not that I want to leave. It's just going to be, what, 30 minutes? She'll be with Daddy. Okay. Huh? It's hard. Yeah. Well, listen, I thought this is why the good Lord made you women much stronger than us guys, to handle moments like this. Now, you go on. Go on. Keep the world moving. Get the mail. I'll take care of our daughter. Oops. Kidding. Do you know what? You are much, much more than beautiful. You take after your mother, and I love you to pieces. In other words, we just proved what we suspected before we left. Alan Spaulding has been behind Advantage Systems from the start. You know, the, the jerk actually had the chutzpah in front of the entire wedding party to offer to buy his own company from himself. He is incredible. I mean, that's brazen for Alan. Did he try to deny it? No, no. No, it was not for, for him to go. I mean, he was trapped. He admitted it in front of everybody. So what did Alan Michael say? Uh, well, they don't know. They're off on their honeymoon. Probably all for the best. I don't understand it. I mean, Alan has certainly made questionable deals before, and Lord knows he's hurt people, but why is he going after Fifth Street? I mean, why is he doing that? Because of Reva. 
He wants to beat the guy down that took his woman. Well, now, if Spalding's operating on emotion, he's finished. We've got him right where we want him. That's exactly what I think. Spalding doesn't know it, but he can be taken. He doesn't know what he's up against. We have the advantage. We know the enemy. That you do. 